Hello, y'all. Good morning. It's set to achieve. I had a delivery this morning. That's why I have my pickup with me. But um, I just felt led by the Spirit to do this video. Um, and I pray that it touches somebody. Um, I know that somebody's life is about, it's about to be impacted. Please, if you're new to the channel, um, go ahead and subscribe to this and join the family. Like this video, share, and leave your comments, okay? The title of today's video is it would have taken you out okay and we're talking about narciss narcissistic abuse okay um and if you are you know new to my cause you know new to my story um you know i'm someone that has suffered for years of narcissistic abuse i'm separated from my ex now for um a year and eight months this november 2024 and you know it's been a long ride but um rocky at times but it was all well worth it i give god all the glory um i give god all the glory for healing me for opening up my eyes to actually what it was that i was dealing with um that i was dealing with demonic abuse narcissistic abuse and i needed to get away i needed to take a step of faith okay so going back to our topic it would have taken you out that is exactly what would have happened to you if you stayed with that narcissist it would have taken you out okay when you're going through narcissistic abuse, you don't know that your very spirit is being undermined. Okay? When you're with a narcissist, you become an emotional, physical, spiritual punching bag for the devil and for the enemy. You're just there absorbing all this negative energy. And that would have taken you out. It would have definitely taken you out. A lot of people going through and suffering from narcissistic abuse, they're going through all kinds of strange, mis mysterious illnesses. You know, they're coming up with glaucoma, they're coming up with um, cataracts, they're coming up with high blood pressure, they're coming up with all these sicknesses, and even cancer. And it, 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 it will eventually take you out. Long-term relationships with narcissistic abusive people is one of the worst things that you could do, do, do to yourself, okay? So you did yourself a service, a favor. A, you blessed yourself by removing yourself and choosing yourself above the, the devil, okay? One thing that you have to understand is that if when you're with a narcissist, you're being trained to be a... A sponge for blame you know how when you put a sponge in water under a tap and it just soaks up all that water you become a sponge for all that blame you become a punching bag okay these people refuse to take any accountability for anything even the things that you catch them red-handed in they're like it's not me they find a way to switch it around and make it your fault Okay, so when you remove yourself, just like myself, I removed myself a year and eight months ago. And even my mom is a narcissist and she's been blocked now for some few months. Okay, because I said enough is enough to taking this. Okay, this is not being respectful. You know, coming from an African household, you know, um, or, or culture, you know, you're trained that you have to respect your parents. And, and me being a Christian, you know, I understand that you have to honor your parents, but you don't have to honor narcissism. You don't have to honor ne negativity. You don't have to honor it. Okay? You have to choose to choose yourself. Choose your mental health. Choose life. Even the Bible says it in Deuteronomy. Choose life that you and your children will live. Decide to choose yourself. And when I decided to choose myself, I see the complete difference. When I decided to isolate, I see the difference. You have to come to the point that you say enough is enough. Pulling yourself out of that negative toxic energy, I don't care if it's family, a romantic partner, whoever, a friendship, even a workplace, deciding that, you know what, I choose life. At that point, I was doing about almost 10 side hustles. I was doing hair, I was doing delivery. I still do delivery, I still do hair, you know, but not as much because I'm, I'm putting it up because God has been elevating me more and more, you know, and um, I've been doing less and less, but I had to do what I had to do. But I was door dashing, grub hubbing. I had about several different apps. I had um, Instacart. I had, um, what else? Roadie. Um, I had all the delivery apps. 
okay? I was, on, I was even doing videos on how to get started with different side hustles. You know, then I added, I added a, 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 eventually I added a middleman um, business, you know, a cleaning business and, and this and that. I was just adding different things, notary, okay? I was doing several different side hustles just to make it a day, just to make it right, to, to be able to take care of my children. I have three teenagers. One is almost an adult, one is almost 18. To the glory of God, okay? Because you cannot do this thing by your own power. Okay, so if you're someone that is watching this video right now and you're looking for power, you're looking for strength, and, and you're looking for knowledge, and you, you need the Holy Spirit, ask the, Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ into your heart. Tell Him to come in. Tell, tell Him to perfect you. Tell Him to direct you. Tell Him to, 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 to show you the way. Open up your eyes. Because the Bible says that when the Holy Spirit comes, He will guide you into all the truth. Tell Him to guide you into all the truth that you don't know where to go. Ask him to forgive you, okay, of making somebody else because you made the, the narcissist the Lord of your life. You made him your all in all. He took all your attention. He took your worship, okay. So ask him to forgive you for, 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 for putting somebody else in his place. Start asking for his direction. Start asking for his grace. Okay, start asking for his grace. You need grace. You need greater grace in your life to be able to fight and overcome this narcissist. Okay? You did yourself a... a, 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 a great deal of... I don't even know what the word I'm looking for. You blessed yourself. Okay, and if you're someone that is still struggling with how do I get out, seek God, seek Christ, okay, for healing. You need to heal. If you don't heal, you're going to be repeating the same patterns, okay, with different people but the same demon, okay? You have to, you have to recognize exactly what it is. That's the reason why these channels, channels like mine and other channels are so important, to let people understand that this thing is not an individual thing. A lot of people are fighting this rich, poor wealthy, famous, they're fighting narcissistic abuse, okay, because this thing goes, this thing, this thing is at the core of society, every fabric in schools and churches, at, in homes and workplaces, narcissistic abuse is everywhere, okay, but you have to, to realize what it is that you're dealing with, get the knowledge, when you get the knowledge, you're going to be, be able to break free, that you need Christ to heal, Hallelujah. You need, you need the grace of God and you need Christ to heal. You need Christ to heal. Okay? Alright? So take it from me. Okay? I've been there and I've done that. Okay, and I'm and I'm still there. So this is not something that oh, you know, this was like years ago. I'm still there. I'm I'm still my mom is still blocked, you know. Because I'm trying to protect myself. Because if I'm not sound, there's no way I can take care of my children. If I don't have my mind sound, if, if I don't have my spirit, my environment cleansed of all that negativity and demonic influence, there is no way I can thrive and be all that God has called me to be. There's no way. None. Okay? So I have to choose myself, choose life. This narcissist is a hate is a hater of your destiny. You're with somebody that is there to pull you down. Is there to make sure that you do not accomplish what God has for you. That is someone that you're partnered with. You're sleeping. There's a, there's a movie called Sleeping with the Enemy. You are sleeping with the enemy. I was sleeping with the enemy. Someone that cannot open their mouth and give you a compliment. The Bible says that, that Joseph's brothers in the Bible, they couldn't say a kind word to him. They couldn't say a kind word because they were so jealous of him. You're, you're, you're dining with the devil. You're married to one. You're, 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 your mother, your father, your brother, your sisters are one. You have to protect yourself at all costs. 
I did a video the other day, it was yesterday, um, you know, talking about your comfort zone is killing you. A lot of you, you know, because you're financially dependent on these people, you know, you're allowing them to drive the steering wheel of your life, manipulate you, ultimately destroy you, okay? Don't let your comfort zone kill you. Don't let it destroy you. Do yourself a service. Okay? Stop doing yourself a disservice. Do yourself a service. Help yourself. Bless yourself by getting away from these people. Go no contact. Block them. Whatever you have to do to protect your mental health. To protect your health. Okay? Because narcissistic abuse has a lot of physical attachments to it. Okay? A lot of diseases are attached to it. Some that it will, doctors don't even understand. Okay? Because the spiritual world is what con what what controls the natural world. Okay? So if you're constantly on on pins and needles, you wake up in the morning, you're 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 you're, you're on fight or flight or, or fight or flight. Okay? Your parasympathetic uh, nervous system and all of those different things. You know, all your body is fighting constantly, fighting. Your your heart is working constantly, dealing with you know, wondering like every day you wake up or you're coming back from work, you, you're, you're scared about your heart is pumping about what you're gonna meet at home. That is no way to live. Okay, so those of you that were able to escape, stay away. Don't fall back for their hovering, telling you that they're the red scriptures. Somebody that has been this way for 20 years, it's not gonna, or, or 30 years, or, or all their life, it's not gonna change in, in, in six months, in one year, in two years. It's part of them. Okay? And if they change, very, very highly unlikely, let them change for somebody else. Don't take them back. Don't ever go back to where you're abused. Don't ever go back to where you were damaged, where you're almost just completely destroyed. God by his grace pulled you out okay so going back is, is, is almost like a slap in the face of God I hate to say that but it, is, it just it's almost like it's ungratefulness because God that, that retrieved you out by his grace by his blood by his you know by his grace do not go back don't go back to your vomit refuse abuse refuse it because this time around you might not make it out okay because the enemy the devil he comes to kill, to steal, and destroy. And he wants to finish up what he started. You were able to escape, and he's angry, very angry that you were able to escape. They're boiling in their spirit because you were able to escape. So if you go back and say, oh, you know, because of the kids, because of that, the kids will survive. The kids will go on and live their own lives. And, what, and think about it. What kind of example are you showing your kids, especially your daughters? You're showing your, your son that this is the way to be and you're showing your daughters that this is the way, this is who they should marry. Okay? So it's like you're a failure. Okay? So don't choose life. Choose you. Choose God. So that you and your children can thrive. Okay? Stop buying into all this crap that the narcissist has. God has so much greater for you. A better partner. A better life. Better things in store. Okay? Don't throw your life away to a narcissist, a demonic piece of trash. Don't throw your life away. Don't throw your life away. Don't do it. Okay? Choose life. Choose God. Choose peace. God bless you. God bless you. Please leave your comments, like, share, um, and... Yeah. God is good, okay? God is great. God loves you, okay? Choose Christ. Choose love. Choose life. Choose you, okay? Choose blessings and not curses, okay? It's a curse to be with a narcissist, a child of the devil. Choose life. Choose hope. So that you will thrive. Your children will thrive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, God bless you.